Overwood team, uh, I'd say it's necessary that we get back into our alliance meetings. Before everything is said and done, though, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Just had to take some time to, uh, you know, deal with what I saw. And, yeah. I mean, it was a hard blow to the chest, just like your favorite character took. I will rupture your anus. Anyway, yeah. That happened. I was sad for a day, but I'm fine now. All right, good. Because, yeah, we voted off Flygon last night, which may have been a mistake, considering how strong he would have been. If it wasn't, if it wasn't Flygon going home, it would have been me! Yeah, but maybe we could have we could have made it so that someone else got out instead of Flygon or Yi. Yeah, but over me, I would definitely, I would want Flygon, Flygon out of the game more than me. It's because it's you. And so, your point? Anyways... We need to kind of get back into our maintaining order of the team, if you know what I mean. Like, are you saying we should bring more people into our alliance? Oh, if so, because I already brought someone into the alliance. What's up? Uh, all right, why'd you bring her into the alliance? Well, simple, two things. One, she's a good friend of ours. Two, uh, after Susie left, it's uh, been just the four of us here. And also, Kamek left, so I think it's good that we get our alliance up to six, assuming Susie or one of us don't leave in the next few episodes. Oh, you make a fair point. Welcome to the alliance, Callie. Yeah, glad to be here. So, with that being said, we're now at five members, and we have Roots and, like, PD and... It, yeah, P we have, like, Roots and PD. And if we, now that we have this group right here, I'd say we have a lot more, I guess, tunnels to get into, like, you know, more people out that we want. Yeah, like, I could convince Sandai and Onyx to vote out people, and I'm pretty sure Desti could vote out, or could get, Desti and Callie can get Blue and Sabrina, and then we have the ties with Petey, and Petey's good friends with Boom Bloom already, so in pu if push comes to show, we can pretty much just get out anyone we want. Yeah, pretty much. All right, plan sounds good. Yeah, everything sounds good right about now. Yeah, I'm definitely liking where this is going. You think maybe we could get out Marie next? Marie's too important right now because, again, she is one of the smarter ones on the team, so we kind of need to stay keep her around. Unless she does something really dumb in this challenge. All right, I pick up what you're putting down. I swear to God, if you get Marie out in this episode, we're voting you off. Fine. Yeah. Okay, can you, like, stop your bitching and whinging about, uh, your cousin? It's getting kind of annoying, and it's ruining team, uh, team morale. I don't care right now. Fine, all right. Anyways, come on, guys, let's go. So, uh, why are we here? Well, I need to talk to you three about something involving our team's leadership. You know how the team seems like it's fully dominated by Newspaper's Alliance? Uh, yeah, you make a fair point. It really just does seem like Newspaper's team is calling all the shots for our thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess I see your point, but to be fair, they're not doing a bad job. What do you mean they're not doing a bad job? We've literally lost more challenges than the Metal Warriors. I think it's time that some of us step up to the plate and actually start being decent team members and actually try and take control of the team. Not full control, because Newspaper's still a team leader. But, like, you know, make our own decisions for once. Mm, you know what? I might be into that. I think that could actually work. Yeah, considering newspapers kind of in a big shot position. Yeah, maybe we should try this. All right. Glad we can talk. This is just something that's been on my mind recently, and I think it'd be best if we, you know try and make this more of our whole thing instead of just newspaper small alliance all right thanks guys that's all i need to talk to you about do you trust what he says not at all man like it's Yveltal. he is the god of destruction in the pokemon universe i wouldn't trust him if he was the last person left on earth so yeah i don't trust a single thing he's saying are you sure about that he does provide some decent points yeah, but at the end of the day, it's still Eveltal. Take what he says with a grain of salt. Okay, then. 
Before anyone asks anything, no, I am not trying to take over this game. I am not going to try and just take over our team so that I can be the only one who wins the game. No, that's not how I roll. I'm just trying to make sure that we don't lose because I don't know if it's just me on my team, but I am sick and tired of losing, even if we did win the last challenge. But still, I am tired of losing, and I believe Newspapers Alliance is pretty much behind it because they are the only ones calling the shots, especially with, because their team is people like... Their alliance has people like Coney and Scars, and they're utter morons. So, yeah, I think it's time that the rest of us, who can actually be kind of decent in challenges, actually start doing better stuff for this team. Why are we outside for today's challenge? Yeah, is today's challenge supposed to be to die of heat stroke? No, that unfortunately is against the rules of regulations about this account. Jeez, I wonder why. Anyways, yes, today's challenge is an outside one. However, because today's challenge is a sports-based challenge, or at least based on a sport. Oh, which sport is it? I would love it if it was football. I hate football. I hate tackling people. Not that kind of football, you pleb. No, it's not football, and it's not football. It is a sophisticated sport. Today's episode is a golfing challenge. I thought you said this was a sport, not a tent fest. Oh no, that's just Fortnite. So yeah, today's challenge is all about golfing. Except it's not typical golf. You're not just gonna hit the ball into the thing and depending on how many less strokes of you get, that's your point. The point is of this challenge is there will be holes. That's what she said, piss off. <laughs> Anyways. You're gonna have to hit a golf ball into a hole or something that we've set up for you. And depending on how many swings you get, that's how many coins you will get. The first team to get to a thousand coins will win the challenge. Sound good? All right. It should be simple. However, I am aware there are a few of you without limbs or walk on all fours. So you'll be out of the challenge. So yes. The four of you will be sitting out of this challenge because you do not have any appendages available to hit the golf ball. Which, it also works out well since you guys have a few more members than the super dudes, so it all works out in the end. Alright, so yeah, let the challenge begin. First team to get a thousand coins via golf wins the challenge. The other team is up for elimination. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, I think we actually kind of stand a good challenge, for, a good uh, chance at this. Because I know Luigi and Iggy have played golf before. Actually, I haven't played golf before in, like, Mario game, but I have played it on the side. Okay, and I've played a bit of golf myself. What about you, though? Are, don't rich people play golf a lot? Uh, yeah, we we do. We do play golf a lot. Okay, good. That'll be helpful because... Yeah. It'll just be helpful for us. I'm surprised that I'm still in this challenge, along with Eveltal, since we don't have hands. You have wings. That's good enough. Have you seen Kung Fu Panda? You can do crap with your wings. Fair point. All right, guys. Let's get in there, and let's do this. All right, so I know me, Petey, and Wario will all be good for this challenge, since, you know, Mario Golf. But uh, I'm not sure about the rest of you. Uh, anyone else play golf before? I've played golf before. It's something celebrities tend to do. Yeah, it's all right, to be honest. It's just something that, like, I've never been too good at golf, but I can still play it at least. Well, it doesn't matter if you're good at it. We just have to be good for this challenge. Just, you know, get coined and all that stuff. All right, sounds like a plan then. Yep. Come on, team. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, if you need any help with some golf stuff, because this is his golf course, you can just talk to Golf Star. Yeah, if you wish, I can help take out, I can help with your golf problems if you have any. Should still be fun, though. Yeah, no, I don't need any help from a fat wanker in his 40s. You didn't like it! All right, so the challenge is beginning now. And, yep, we got to speak a golf ball. And, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the clearance to use golf clubs, so we'll have to use the next best thing. A hammer! Well, using a hammer to hit a golf ball ain't really my style, but I'll try. Eh, eh not too bad, DDD. Alright, DDD, you got pretty close on that one. You should just be able to. Eh. Nice job, DDD. That's a uh, hole in two, so you get 50 coins. Hey, hey, hey! 
Now that was pretty fun. Granted, I am used to using a hammer, so, but hey, hey, I enjoyed that. Wario time. All right, Wario, you were the best in Mario Golf. Eh. <laughs> All right, Wario, it's right there. I know it's right here. There, that counts, right? Yeah, hole in two, you get 50 coins. Ugh. <laughs> wow, hole in one. <laughs> that is why I am the best golfer of all time. Oh yeah, watch this. I am a golf pro. Eh. Shit! That counts, right? Uh, yeah, that counts. So, three swings then. That wasn't so bad. You know, you get, uh, 35 coins. Well, that's good. You know what? I'm feeling lucky today. I think I can make to the really far hole back there. I don't think that... I think I can do that. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. Callie, we're on the same team. And you stop your stupid rivalry for a moment so I can try and get us to win. Doesn't matter, you're not gonna hit it. You're not gonna do it at all. Ugh. Wow, hole in one. What? 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 Stow your passive aggressive passive aggressive comments, ye of little faith. And Marie gets 150 points for making it into the long hole on a hole in one. Which Bowser got 100 for. But that was a longer hole, so yeah. Bowser gets there's a Marie gets 150. Ugh. Why? That no good dirty. With a pile of Godzilla. Come on, Tyrod, make this next swing count. Oh, come on. So, I came into this challenge with a little bit of a disadvantage. Despite being a wealthy business president person, I don't play golf. So, having people put their trust in me is not good. Alright, I must warn you right now to be careful since there are multiple people now coming onto the courses because this is the normal time I do my classes in golf stuff. So, be careful from them. I'm not taking advice from someone in a pensioner's cardigan. You didn't like it! Well, this isn't good. Hey, Susie. Hmm? Hey yo, Sand Isle, what do you want? Well, I was just wondering something. You seem a little bit nervous. Eh, just a little. Not much is really happening. Hmm, you sure? It seems like you're awfully nervous about this challenge. Eh, just a little. I just want to make sure my team is good. I hear you, I hear you. Shame I can't participate, because, you know, no arms. I'm sure you got it, though. Yeah, you know what you should try and do? Prove yourself of worth and go for a very hard hole. So that way, if you do good, you get a lot of points. I see your point. I'll see what I can do. Ugh. She's too smart for my tricks. All right, Susie, you're teaming up with me because I don't know what I'm doing, and you're a rich person, so I think you should help. Uh, okay? Okay, Susie. You don't play golf, but you had to maintain the lie to the others. Ugh. Ugh, what a nice day it is today. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Dum, dum, de -dum, de -dum, de -dum. Ow, sorry. Ugh. Dang it, we've been out here for three days. And Dry Bones falls asleep after every two minutes. How could this get any worse? Boy, sorry. Come on, Susie. Ugh. My therapist was right. All I needed to do to get rid of some of my anger was get a hobby. Okay, now I'm mad. Sorry. Uh, I'm sitting on a wall. Oink! Sorry. Ah, oh, what a nice relaxing day. Ah, sorry. I swear to God, if one more thing goes wrong today. Oh, sorry. What? Sigh. Everything seems so pointless. Why am I even here at this stupid golf course for my stupid mental health? Ow! Sorry. To hell with this. I'm supposed to be a stupid intern on this show, and I can't even do that right. This is dumb. Later, losers. 
hole in one. Hey, I actually did it. I'm getting better at this thing. Ow, sorry. Are you kidding me? We're on the same team. And that right there is my 17th hole in a row. If I get a uh, hole in one in a row, if I get five more, I can beat my all time record. You didn't like it. Sorry. Hi. Thankfully, it's a quiet day. I haven't seen any evil of any kind happening today. That's always good. Ow! Sorry. Uh, 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 where's my, where'd my mask go? I should really get more involved in this game, I think. Like, it's golf. It's what us good fellows do. We good chaps play golf. Ow! Sorry, Mr. King Dice. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh, come on. It's right there. Eh. Does that count? Yeah, I guess it does. Yes! Yes! I did it! In your face, golf! Ha <laughs> ha! Susie Holman still got it! How many points do I get? It's probably only gonna be like five, but it's all right enough. Ugh, you get minus 500 coins. Wait, what? Minus 500 points? Why? I thought it would have been obvious. You are a terrible shot. You hit pretty much everybody who was playing golf today, including myself, and now I have to pay for the damages. So yes, the 500 po coins that you have originally earned from this are going to me now so I can pay for all this crap. God, get better, lady. I thought you were the rich one. Sheesh. Shit. Ugh, finally. The hole's right there. I can make my goal and... What the hell? Arr, why are you in the way of my ball? What do you mean in the way of your ball? I was right here. Learn to aim better, dipshit. What do you mean learn to aim better, dipshit? This ain't a game about aiming, you see? I don't care. Aim better. Oh, shut up, ye. I'm about to beat your arse in a second. Oh, you want go? You want go, boy? No, because I have a challenge to win. Oh, piss off. I'm winning this challenge. Uh-uh. No, you ain't. Oh, yeah, I will. Watch me. You see, watch as the great tyrant aligns his shot and... You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. Piss off. <clears throat> you missed. <clears throat> you missed again. You are trash. Shut up. Uh, uh, there. Yes, I did it. How many points did I get? You got two. Two points? Are you kidding me? Yeah, but in the good news, that's all. That's that's the amount your team needed to win. Wait, I won it for my team? Yeah, you did somehow. Woo! Yeah! Eat it, Captain Jackass. Arr! Ow! Ha ha! Oh, man, I'm the best. And with that, the Metal Warriors have won this challenge, thanks to Tyrant. You will be getting a Mark of the Devil when we return back to the home place. Heck yeah! As for you, super dudes, you guys are up for elimination again. Shame. However, since he was not able to participate in this challenge because of the lack of arms, Scar's Bulborb is safe from elimination tonight. Alright, I will see you, super dudes, at elimination. Well, that wasn't the best challenge. No matter what, I think we vote out a newspaper. Honestly, I know he's not going to get voted out. It's probably going to be like, I don't know, Susie or Cramorant or someone like that. But it's mostly about sending the message, that's it, that we're not trusting his leadership anymore. I'm telling you, if we just played football, it would have been a completely different story. We would have won the challenge, just saying. Given what happened this morning, I'm going to try and get out of Hall. Nothing personal. He's just kind of creepy as of right now. So maybe if I just snitch the newspaper's alliance about what happens or what he's up to, maybe I could get him out. Okay, so I sucked in the challenge and I cost our team the win. So I might be going home and, but the thing is, everyone else seems to be targeting to target Eveltal for his less than teamwork rather thing right now. I mean, he has a point, but if it's between me and Eveltal, I ain't gonna get out Eveltal. Yeah, given the events of today's episode, I'm voting out Susie. 
just she doesn't have a lot going after today's challenge after i'm pretty sure she just lied to us about being good at golf or was that an assumption we made i don't care either way i'm voting out susie Ugh, mama mia this is hard but i think at the end of the day i gotta go with you veltal just get him out get him out so that way our team is I guess, I'm not saying functional, but like, we don't have someone else trying to screw things up in the background, if you get what I mean. So boys, who are we thinking of voting out? I think it's kinda obvious. I think we vote out Susie as bad as it is. Yeah, she's a smart one, but she cost us the challenge. Did she really cost us the challenge? Because I felt like we were gonna lose anyway. They were already pretty close. To winning and that was just a setback. Yeah, I think Cody's kind of got his point on that one. Well, then who else do we vote out? Nobody else really screwed up in the challenge. It was just Susie. And if that's who it is, I'm thinking that might just have to be who it is. Well, gentlemen, mind if I share a little advice with you? Uh, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want, Iggy? I have heard from a little birdie that he plans on making some changes around here. Saying stuff about your leadership. Oh, really? Do tell. Mm, you know, just Big Red Bird. He's trying to squirm his way into trying to make you look like a bad leader. I'm not a bad leader. I'm doing just as good of a job as is. Yeah, he's, I mean, it could be better, but everything could be better. Yeah, so what do you say? You think we should try and get him out? Well, if this is the kind of stuff he's pulling, then yeah, let's try and get him out. All right, good talk. <laughs> Snitch. Well, well, well. Super dudes. Not surprised to see you guys back here. However, looks like you've isolated one of the members of your team. Interesting, I'll tell you that. That's a great way to treat a team member. Well, look, one of your team members is trying to prove that he's better than everybody. Well, let's just say it turns people against him. <laughs> I'm trying to turn people, I am getting turned on against because someone clearly mistook the lie that he has been told. Eh, <laughs> whatever. It's all what newspaper wants anyways, as long as you're in control, isn't it? What do you mean as long as I'm in control? I'm the team leader, so of course I'm the one in control. Like, it's kind of my decision on what our team can do, because, again, I have the final say. Yeah, except the fact that the only say that comes out of you comes from your dumb alliance. Yeah, I know it. You only care about your alliance, not the rest of our team. We're just secondary to what you have and what you've planned. Heh. <laughs> typical newspaper and typical friends of his. You want to go, Veltal? You want to go right now? Because I'm sure, right now, as it seems, the, uh, the votes are stacked against you, as it, would, as it clearly would seem right now. Heh. <laughs> Funny. Thanks for that, man. I play this. And if I'm correct... This saves me from elimination tonight, right? Ah, oh, crap. Didn't actually think he had one. Hmm. Yep, that is a mark of the devil. Any votes for Eveltal do not count. Let's come over, man. <laughs> well, you guys tried. As long as newspaper gets his way, though. But, what do you know? It's not. I was just trying to help out our team, but... Whatever you say, man. Well, now, that's made things a lot more interesting. Now then, for the rest of you, since Eveltal got a majority of the votes, we only have a couple of votes to work with now for who's eliminated. Pity. Shut up. Anyways, first person safe tonight is... Hornet. Iggy Koopa. Scars Bulborb, Luigi Cramorant, Coney, Jennifer, Captain Deadbeard, 
and King DDD. Now then, the final two. Wouldn't it have been one of you if Veltal didn't have his mark of the devil? But hey, that's how things go. One of you got one vote, and one of you got two votes. The last person safe is... Newspaper. Well... Dang. Wasn't hoping to go home this early. Well, I mean... After the whole fiasco that happened with the golf thing, I'm not surprised, though. Cause to be honest, if Veltal getting out was my one hope, and because he wasn't, well... Yeah, I kind of knew I was going home. Well, goodbye, folks. I shall see you later. I just have one final thing to say. Good luck to Bowser, the rest of the people in my alliance on Bowser's team. You guys are going to need it. As for now, I'm off. Goodbye. Did she just teleport off away before we can shoot her out of the cannon? How does that even work? Can she even do that? Apparently she did. What, so, what, now do we just go to find someone else to fire out of the cannon? Kind of dumb if you have to ask me. Well, yeah, who, who the heck are we gonna fire out of the cannon on such short notice? Uh, Mr. Devil and Mr. King Dice, I am here for the payment you all to our golf course. For one, renting the golf course for this challenge, and two, uh, the damage is you all because of your eliminated contestant now, so, yeah, that'll be about approximately 10k dollars. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, why are you both looking at me like that? Wait, no, no, I don't want to be shot out of the cannon. Too bad, you ain't shot out of the cannon. You need someone to since Susie just left. Goodbye. You didn't like it! And with that, the little robo-secretary and also the 40-year-old looking wanker and a pensioner's cardigan have been eliminated from the game. What will happen on the next episode of Total Stuff Dialing? What kind of crazy challenges will we throw at the contestants next? How will the drama on the Super Dudes ha go now? Now that Eveltal is trying to expose Newspaper for being a crappy leader and only focusing more about his alliance and the entire team in general. We'll just have to see with that. And will Callie and Marie ever stop fighting? Mostly Callie just being annoyed at her cousin. But yeah, will they ever stop fighting? Eh, you never know. All these questions may or may not be answered on the next exciting episode of Turtle Stuffed Island.